Hey everyone, this is Ms. Jacobson. In this video, we're going to talk about how to combine like terms to simplify an expression. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is what like terms are. We're going to start with a really basic example involving blue smiley faces. So here in this expression, I have two blue smiley faces, and to that I'm going to add three blue smiley faces. And so the question I want to figure out is how can I rewrite this um, so that I know how many blue smiley faces there are? Okay, essentially I'm trying to rewrite this in a simpler way. So to do that, I'm going to break it down and try to figure out how many blue smiley faces I have total. And you might be thinking this seems kind of silly, um, but hopefully it makes a little bit more sense in a little bit. So if I have two blue smiley faces, that's going to turn into I have one blue smiley face, and to that I'm adding another blue smiley face. That's two blue smiley faces. All right, so that takes care of this first term in the expression. Now to that I'm going to add three blue smiley faces. So same thing, one plus one more plus the third. Okay, and so how many blue smiley faces is that total? Well, that's looks like five blue smiley faces. So if I look at this first expression, the two blue smiley faces plus the three blue smiley faces, that is equivalent to five blue smiley faces. And so what we just did is we combined like terms there. Um, so now to think about this in more of an algebraic context, I might have what we call variables. So remember, variables are those letters that we see in math sometimes. Um, so if I have something like 2y plus 3y, and I want to simplify that, those are like terms, I want to simplify them, um, I could break this down and 2y would be the same as y plus y. And then to that, I'm going to add 3y, which is y plus y plus y. Well, how many y's are there total? There are five y's. And so when I simplify that expression or combine those like terms, it combines to 5y. All right, so here we're going to try to combine like terms on a slightly more complicated expression. Um, so the first the first one we're going to look at is 5x plus 3y plus 4x. So one thing to know when we're trying to combine like terms, like terms have to have the same variable. So what I mean by that is if I look here, I have 5x and I have plus 4x. Okay, those are both x's. X's can combine together. Um, and then I have plus 3y and I don't have any more y's, so the y's are kind of by themselves, just the 3y and that's it. So I'm going to start by combining the x's. So I have 5x plus 4x. Well, that would be 5x plus 4x. That's going to be 9x. And then the, the 3y, the positive 3y or plus 3y is just going to kind of drop down because I have no other y's to combine it with. And so when I simplify that original expression of 5x plus 3y plus 4x, that simplifies to 9x plus 3y. All right, so one more example just to um, give you a little bit more practice with this. So here I have 5a plus 6b plus 15a plus 7 plus 2. So here, notice how I have, I have some terms that have variables, 5a, 6b, 15a, those all have variables. And then I have these two terms at the end, the 7 and the 2, that don't have any variables. And so these are what we call, these are what we call constants. And constants are like terms, so I can combine those together. So just keep that in mind um, in just a moment. So um, looking at this, I want to figure out what I can combine together. So I have the 5a plus 15a, and so those I can combine together. 5a plus 15a equals 20a. Um, and then the next thing I see is that I have the, the plus 6b. Okay, there's no other b's, so it's just going to be plus 6b. Um, and then the last thing that I see is I have the plus 7 plus 2. Okay, so plus positive 7 plus 2 is going to be plus 9. So when I go and uh, simplify or combine like terms in this original expression, um, I simplify it and I get 20a plus 6b plus 9. All right, so now we're going to look at some examples where we see some negatives thrown in while we're trying to combine like terms. Um, and this is where it becomes really important to look at the sign of the term, whether it's positive or negative. You might think of it as plus or minus, but we got to think of that as like positive or negative. So here um, I have negative 5x plus 7y plus 2x minus 
four y. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna group together what I have as far as x's and y's. So I have negative five x, and I have plus two x, and then I have plus seven y, negative four y. All right. Um, so now when I'm when I'm trying to think about this. Um, we can kind of think about this like like what we learned when we did our rational numbers unit. Um, so if I have negative 5x plus 2x, well, if I have negative 5 plus 2, if you think about that on the number line, negative 5 plus 2, if I'm at negative 5 and I go up 2, I'm going to land at negative 3. So my coefficient, the number in front of the x, is going to be negative 3 x and then for the y's I have plus 7y minus 4y well if I have plus 7y positive 7y minus 4y well okay if I have 7 minus 4 that's going to leave me with a positive 3 so the the uh, simplified version of the original expression is going to be negative 3x plus 3y. All right, so to wrap up, we're going to talk a little bit about some terminology related to expressions. So just to start out, um, an expression is just a combination of numbers, variables, um, and mathematical operations like adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Um, and just like the example I have here, so the 3x plus 6, that's an example of an expression. So if we're talking about an expression, expressions have what we call terms. So here, 3x is a term and the positive 6 is a term. Um, so anything separated by the, uh, the plus or the minus, the adding or the subtracting, that is considered a term. Um, so then within those terms, we might look at things like, remember how just a couple moments ago we said that the, if there's a number with no variable attached to it, that's called a constant. Okay. Um, if we have... A letter, those are called variables. Um, and then lastly, if we have um, a number that comes in front of the variable, that is what we call a coefficient. All right, so I'm, I think that pretty much wraps up everything we have to talk about today. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever, and have a great day.